Hey guys, so I'm in my surgery room right now because I broke my arm in two places and these things are on here because they had to put incisions in me. I don't know what incisions are, so I don't know if I used that word correctly. Basically, I'm just gonna tell you how I broke my arm. We were doing a track and field day as a school event and they told me that I had to go up and do the 100 meter race, so I'm like, okay. And I'd been planning a day in advance to do a cartwheel across the finish line to add some flair to my performance. So I get up to the starting line and I'm just like, I'm not going to get in a very high place. So I'm just going to run as fast as I can and then do the cartwheel. So I start running and then I get to the finish line and I'm like, okay, cartwheel time. I do the cartwheel. Well, when you do a cartwheel, your hands don't exactly move with you as you're doing the cartwheel after running as fast as you can. And I did the cartwheel. I don't know if I completed it or not, but I get up and my arm has just gone like, and people come up to me and they're like, okay, sit down, sit down. I'm like, okay, okay. Then they're like, lay down. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. What? And then they're just like, okay, everything's going to be fine. God is with you. I'm like, yeah, I know that. I'm like, okay, this is probably pretty bad. But I don't feel any pain for some reason. They're trying to get everyone away so that they didn't scream in my face. Uh, the nurse said, okay, I'm going to put a splint uh, on your arm. And I'm like, okay, they better not put a piece of wood in my arm. Cause I thought they said splinter, so I'm like, okay, you, no, unacceptable, you're not putting a, a piece of wood in my arm. But, uh, it turns out they just put this little thing right here, they strap my arm to it, then they put me on this little bed thing. And this is weird because I haven't seen this except for when people get injured in, like, soccer games. So, they get me on the little thing. The stretcher? The stretcher, that's what it's called, thank you. They bring me to the car, they're like, okay, so we're gonna take you to the hospital. And I'm like, okay. I go into the car and I'm driving and I'm having conversations. You're driving? Them. Yeah, I was driving, that's what I was doing. <laughs> I wasn't riding in the car with this terrible arm. I was driving the car, of course. I get into the hospital. Basically, the next thing I know, I'm in this room right here. It's about 11 o'clock at this time. <laughs> and uh, I'm watching TV. I'm watching the end of Epic. And then I watch some Amazing World of Gumball episodes on Cartoon Network. And my arm's right here. And it's at an angle. And it's all weird. I had to wait there for five hours with this arm and it was at a right angle and that was disgusting. They tried to get me a room and I don't know how many people were in the emergency room, but it basically took me six hours of waiting there with this arm, I couldn't even move. So basically they got me finally to the surgery room and I'm like, good, surgery, I can just get on anesthetics and get this over with. So I lay in the surgery bed, you know, they take my blood pressure and everything and then they go and try to get a surgeon. Finally they get me a surgeon, They give me an oxygen mask and they put me on anesthetics with this little thing right here and I go to sleep and I dream that they put tattoos on me that I had this I looked at my hand after surgery in the dream and I had this moon tattoo and this star tattoo and I'm like why do I have tattoos on my arm like were they trying were they having like a little fun during surgery like maybe he's still asleep we can do some tattoos on him while we're cutting his arm open then I woke up and I I didn't realize what happened but I woke up in the surgery room which was my worst nightmare because I thought they were going to be fixing my arm while I was still awake and I'm like ah! and then they get me out of there and I'm like okay phew uh, it was actually the next day I realized that I didn't have tattoos on my arm. But basically that night they gave me these pills that were this big. I was not very comfortable. Then she gave me two small pills to take at the same time. I went to sleep for about an hour, then two hours later she came. So now I'm here with these two incisions and they had they stuck these metal rods inside and I just hope that I don't go through metal detectors. Basically that's why I'm in the hospital right now. Some advice, if you ever run a 100 meter race, don't do a cartwheel. <laughs> if you're doing a 5k race or something where you're going really slow, then I guess it would be fine if you did a cartwheel, but not when you're dashing as fast as you can. Please, or else you'll have to go through this. This is like the worst injury of my life, and I'm going to have these two awesome battle scars. But, um... But don't go that far for attention. Don't go that far for awesome battle scars. Honestly, the only attention I wanted was from my car wheel. I ended up getting attention for the 
result of the cartwheel. See you guys later. Join the lookout. I don't ever want to take a painkiller ever again. <laughs> <laughs> that's another story for another, that's another video. That's another story. If you ever go through surgery, you'll know what I'm talking about, but I don't want to talk about it right now on YouTube.